Hi, I'm Derek, and in this video, I will introduce a book to you which changed my jazz drumming. So in this lesson, I will show you my approach how to start with the famous book The Art of Bob Drumming by John Reilly. To start with this book, I would recommend to start with page 9. And on page 9, you have 8 bars of swing comping exercises. And this is my approach. So when you're really new to jazz, I will recommend to start with the right symbol playing the jazz right pattern. So let's start with the first bar of page number 9. So when you have trouble to play all four limbs together, then for example, play only both hands. This is what I recommend to all eight exercises. To start with both hands. So you see, feel and listen the independence or the interdependence between the two limbs. And then after a while, when you get more comfortable, then you add both feet. Now this is for me a very important step. You play one bar or one exercise over and over again for five minutes. And I practice this with a metronome and a timer. So the starting tempo John Riley recommends in his book is quarter note equals 70. If this is too fast for you, you can set the metronome, of course, slower. For example, 60, 50 or even 40 beats per minute. So you can really focus on the exercise and four limbs. And this is what the eight bars are really about for me. To really go deeply into the details or the balance of the instruments. And I give you a few examples changing, for example, the dynamic or the feel of the limbs. And then you will hear or see what will happen. And this I will demonstrate with the first exercise or the first bar in the last line, in the last row. And this is playing again the jazz right cymbal pattern and the left hand is filling all the missing triplets from the right hand. So now I will give you a short demonstration what will happen when you're, for example, changing the dynamics between the limbs. So I think it wasn't hard to hear that the balance in the very beginning when I started or at the very end was best sounding or the best balance. So most time when rock or pop drummers learning jazz, so as I started, I was uh, back in the day I was a punk drummer, most of the time the snare drum and bass drum are too loud. So the right cymbal is the main voice and other two limbs, like the snare drum and the bass drum, are playing more like underneath the right cymbal pattern. That isn't a fixed rule, of course you can change, but in the beginning it's just a recommendation from my side. And when you're playing one bar from these eight exercises for five minutes, that's it what it's all about. To pay really close attention to your four limbs. Okay, and the next step would be to combine two bars. And I will give you a short demonstration playing the first bar from the first line and the first bar from the last line. 
and I play each bar two times and then switching to the other one and then switching back and so on and so on. When you're playing or practicing this way, switching between two bars or exercises, then you can really pay attention if the right cymbal pattern changes. So most of the time, if you're changing the left hand or the coordination changes, be careful that the other three limbs don't change. And this is very important because when you're improvising, the left hand, when you're playing a band or with a play along a record, whatever, then the right cymbal shouldn't change. So I give you a demonstration um, where the right cymbal changes. So this doesn't have a groove or flow. When you're struggling with this, then you're going one step backwards and practicing one bar over and over again and then practicing the other bar over and over again. So now I will give you some recommendations how to phrase the left hand in each exercise. Okay? So, number one is to play the left hand a little bit accented, not too loud and not too soft. So on the second bar, you're playing a shuffle with the left hand on the snare drum. And be careful that you don't accenting the quarter notes too much in the left hand. Okay, so let's move on to the first bar in the second line. And this, for me, is a typical jazz shuffle. And this means that you're accenting beat 2 and 4 and leaving out beat 1 and 3 from the typical shuffle structure as we had in the bar before. Now in the next exercise or the next bar, we are now in the second line, the second bar, you're playing the second and third triplet for the first time. And most of the time it sounds better to accent the third triplet and playing the second triplet a little bit softer.
So the first bar in the third line is the opposite. So you're changing both rhythms and it's the same phrasing or the same balance for me. So you're playing like this. Exercise or bar number two in the third line is playing the second and third triplet over and over in this bar. And again, here I would recommend to accent or play the third triplet a little bit louder than the second one. I will demonstrate a little bit faster. Okay, so the first bar in the last line we just had before, but now here is my recommendation for the phrasing. On beat 2 and 4 it's new to play only the second triplet and in the beginning I will recommend to play this triplet a little bit softer. On beat 1 and 3 you're playing the second and third triplet and the third triplet a little bit louder and the second triplet a little bit softer. So the last exercise on this page is a little bit special because you're playing a quarter note triplet with your left hand on the snare drum, but starting on the second triplet. And here you have different possibilities to shape the left hand or the phrasing of the left hand. And the first way to start is to play the left hand or to play all strokes of the left hand at the same volume. Another way to phrase the left hand is to play the two strokes which you play together with the right cymbal a little bit louder. So you play the offbeat of beat 2 and 4 with accents. This creates another flow, but experiment with your own dynamics or phrasings. So I will close the video playing all 8 bars or 8 exercises. And I will play each bar 4 times and then going on to the next exercise. I will play it with a metronome quarter note equals 100. I hope you liked the video, let me know in the comments and see you next time. Goodbye.